Hello world and welcome back for another Dalporto Dev video. I want to start out by saying a special thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you for joining me along this ride and this journey. Today I'm bringing the video that many of you have been commenting and asking for. A deeper dive into the performance of the ASUS G531 GT. Now it's not the full review that some of you have been asking for. For me to be comfortable to bring a full review of a device, I feel I need at least one week to spend time with the device, getting to know all the factors that make a device a pleasure to use such as battery life, usability, comfort. So right off the bat, a TLDR, the performance of the ASUS G531 GT is better than expected. Being a laptop that I picked up for under $1,000, I thought for sure it wouldn't be able to handle many of the AAA titles that I play. One game that I tested on it, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, actually was able to maintain almost 60 FPS at high settings. Now, you're not gonna have access to the latest features like deep learning super sampling or ray tracing from NVIDIA. However, technology is getting to a point. Even a budget gaming device like this is good enough for the budget-minded gamer to enjoy almost any title. So let's take a look. So what we saw is that all games demonstrated in this video were actually playable on the GTX 1650 in the ASUS G531 GT. But getting into the numbers, Shadow of the Tomb Raider averaged at about 50 FPS on high settings. So of course, if you want to hit that magical 60 FPS benchmark for Tomb Raider, you definitely would need to tweak a little bit of the settings and tone down some of the less necessary game elements. Moving on though, Skyrim Special Edition played at 60 FPS during my entire play session. Now VSync was enabled, so if you're using this laptop and you hook it up to an external display, theoretically you could disable VSync and perhaps reach even higher than 60 FPS. So if you had an external monitor that was 144 Hz, perhaps you could get closer to about 100 FPS, which is what I saw in games like Overwatch and Saints Row. Overwatch maintained an average stable 70 FPS during gameplay, even when there were explosions and enemies on the scene, which is great. This was at ultra level settings, so if you have an external display, you could turn it down, tune the settings even lower, and perhaps reach frame rates exceeding 100 FPS. Now, Saints Row, this is a dated game at this point, but I still just put it on there. I played it through just for fun. This one averaged at 85 frames per second. So overall, all the games that I demoed in this video, they were playable on the GTX 1650 inside of the ASUS 531 GT. So that does it for my video. A full review video is coming soon where I'll go much deeper into all around what it's like to be living with and using this device for a week. 
for now, I hope you enjoyed this video, at least giving you a taste what kind of performance the 531 GT brings to the table. So please like this video if it helped you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. If you're interested in picking up this laptop, please take a look at the description down below and keep coming back to this video because I will be sure to include links to this laptop when I find good deals for you guys in the description below. My social media accounts are also in the description if you want to take a look. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Talk quarter dev out.